So today we're going to cook ham. So this is a pre-cooked ham that you get from the grocery store. Um, it's not a fresh ham, but we like to heat it up in our pressure cooker so it's... Um, it doesn't dry out as much as yeah. if you heat it in the oven. Often I'll buy honey baked ham for Christmassy dinner mm -hmm. and they tell you not to heat it. But my family likes to heat it and my favorite way to heat it is in the pressure cooker. So I'm Jen. And I'm Barbara. And we're with Pressure Cooking Today. So I like to wrap it up in foil. The foil captures any juices that come out mm -hmm. from the ham so it helps to steam it just a little bit and it doesn't get as dry so it's really nice especially if you've spent a lot of money and bought a honey baked ham it has that nice sugar crust yes, that's and it. all that juices you want that flavor you don't want it in to your just ham. drip down into your into your water and be lost exactly so we'll go ahead and wrap it up we've got two layers here and this is one of the few things we actually do get like the heavy duty foil for because you don't want any holes in it Okay, and then this yep. Yep. That looks good. That looks great. And then we're going to use a cup of water. Put the water in first. Put your rack or a sling or something in yep. there because you're going to need something to help get it out. If you don't have a rack like this, you can make your own with aluminum foil. Long aluminum foil, about the length of your arm. Um, fold it into thirds like hot dog style, so it's a really long, thin strip. You center the ham right on the middle of the strip, and then you use the side of the strip as handles. But this one's still kind of small enough, we can just put it in. Yeah, this is a Cure 81 ham, uh, Hormel, um, one of my favorite hams from the grocery store to date. Not sponsored, just that's our preference. And we're cooking it in the new Whisper Quiet. Duo Plus. Um, this is the newest version of the Duo Plus. I think they've had like five different versions of the Duo Plus. This is the latest one. It's got this cool lid. We talked about it in another video, so we'll make sure to link that one. Um, go ahead and lock the lid in place. Yep. So we'll lock the lid in place. A 10 minute cook time and a 12 minute natural release. The natural release time uh, continues to cook a little bit but it just gradually releases the pressure rather than a fast. Um, so actually the coming to pressure time and the release time is part of the pressure cooking time especially with something like ham that you just want to warm up mm -hmm. you don't want to overcook it. So we'll see you when it's done. Okay so the time is up. We've used a 10 minute quick Oh, natural pressure release, and it's nice and steamy. We're going to go ahead and use that trivet to take out the ham and to put it on this tray. There we go. Okay. And we'll go ahead and unwrap it. it should be nice and steaming. You you want to reheat about one. 45, but it, since it's pre-cooked, it doesn't really matter so much. Um, if you want to check and see if these center ones are warm enough for you, the center is the last to heat up. These are warm, so that looks great. Um, sometimes if the center is still cool, but the edges are warm, it often works out where everybody in the family can have a slice of ham, and then we can get started with dinner, and then put these back in there for the um, when people are ready for seconds, they'll be ready just in time. Yeah, and you can just wrap them up and um, keep it on the keep warm setting so that water will keep it hot till you're ready to serve it. So let's plate it up. Let's plate it up. Okay. All right, so we plated it up and we decorated it with a little rosemary and some cranberries, cranberries for Christmas. Just a little fancy. So it's quick and easy and it's a great way to feed your family at any of the holidays or we even like to have ham throughout the year. Yeah, just fancy Sunday dinners. Um, so if you try this, let us know in the comments how it goes. If you have any questions, we'd be happy to answer them. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.